So I always get asked about how you can calculate your calories and your macros depending what your goals are, whether it be for fat loss, muscle building, weight loss, or weight gain. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly the step-by-step -step process on how you can do that. So before I get into how you can calculate your calories and your macros, I'm gonna go over the three tiers of tracking. So the first tier is just tracking your calories. Then you have tracking your calories and your protein. And then the last one here, you track your macros, which is your carbs, fat, and your protein. So for most people, you can just get away with just tracking your calories and your protein. And if you're watching this video, you're probably just trying to get through a body recomposition, trying to lose some fat, build some muscle and get into a better shape, right? So if you're going through that and that's what you're trying to do, all you have to do is just track your calories and protein and that would be suffice enough because it doesn't matter if you're eating more carbs or more fat, as long as you're in a calorie deficit, you're gonna see that fat loss progress. But if you're an individual, like let's say for example, you're a power lifter, you're a competitive bodybuilder, you're really trying to maximize your potential and performance in the gym and making sure you're getting enough um, feel from a specific energy source and fuel source, then you want to track your macros and track your carbs, your fats, and your protein to make sure those ratios are correct and properly placed so that way you get the best performance uh, in the gym and as well as recovery. But for most of you, like I said, tracking your calories and your protein is going to be enough because if you already have so much going on and you don't want to focus too much on the nutrition, you want to just put as minimal effort as you can but at the same time still see results then just track your calories and track your protein it's okay wherever your carbs and fat land that's fine as long as you're in a calorie deficit you're still gonna see that weight loss and if you're trying to you know put on some weight you just need to be in a calorie surplus so those are the three methods when it comes to tracking your calories slash macros now we're gonna head over here onto the computer i'm gonna show you exactly how you can calculate your calories and your macros if that's what you're looking for so i'm gonna go do that entire process with you the first thing you want to do is find yourself a tde calculator and you can just type in google tde calculator and it should be the first one that pops up it's the tde calculator.net so i'm going to use myself as an example that way you can see all the numbers and how you can calculate that for yourself so my age i'm 26 weight i'm 170 pounds my height i'm 5'7 and my activity level currently i'm working out four days a week so i'm gonna pick moderate exercise so choose the one accordingly to how many times a week you're working out then you have body fat percentage which is optional you could put your body fat percentage if you do know it and it will give you a more accurate reading but it's not necessary and i typically don't use this so we calculate here and my maintenance calories right now is 2650 calories so what that means is this number here that you're going to see for yourself it might be 2650 it might be a different number this is the amount of calories you need in order to maintain your body weight so where all we need from this is this number and the rest of these numbers here are not needed yes they do give you macro breakdown here but i don't recommend using their macro breakdown because they don't really do a good job um, in the ratio so just take this number here, the mains calories, that's all we need. So 2650 for me, I'm gonna copy this here and I'm gonna pull over this document here. So you can write this stuff down for yourself and I'm gonna have a calculator here on the side and I'm gonna pull it up when I need it. But for now, our mains calorie is 2650, right? Calories to maintain body weight. So we're gonna take that number, depending on what your goal is, right? Do you wanna lose weight? Do you wanna gain weight? You want to add or subtract three to 500 calories. Now, if you are a leaner individual and you have low body fat percentage, you don't want to be in too much of a calorie deficit. So I would say go towards that lower range of 300 calorie deficit. But if you do have more body weight to lose and you have higher body fat percentage, then aim towards that 500 calorie deficit is what I recommend. So let's say I'm trying to lose weight. So I want to take that maintenance calories, 2650 minus 500. And that will give me 2150 for my calories in order to start losing some body weight and body fat. So I'm gonna highlight this in red, right? That way you can see it clearly. And the next thing we're gonna go to is protein. Okay, so once you get your calorie deficit, my calorie deficit is 2150. You wanna then go and calculate your protein. So there's a range between 0.8 to 1.2 grams per pound of body weight. So you wanna do 0.8 in that lower end range if you are at a higher body fat percentage or you never really had a lot of protein in your diet and you're not used to it we we'll start off on the lower end but if you are an individual who's like super lean getting ready for a competition for a bodybuilding show and you want to preserve a lot of your muscle aim towards that 1.2 gram per pound of body weight 
Now for most people, one gram per pound of body weight is gonna work out fine. So just, I would just use one gram per pound of body weight. But like I said, use the lower end range if you are an individual with a higher body fat percentage. All right, so I am 170 pounds and that would just be 170 grams of protein. Now I do wanna calculate how many calories this is because I need the calorie intake or just calculate some of the other macros later. But if you are only calculating your calories and your protein and that's all you're tracking, you're done here. That's it. These are the two numbers you need and that's it. You're going to see results if you're trying to lose weight by just using these first two steps. All right. But if you want to calculate your macros, I'm going to continue on. But if you want to just use your calories and your protein, which I recommend most people do, this works perfectly fine. All right. So 170 grams, you want to multiply that by four in order to get your total amount of calories coming from the protein. Let me flip red. 170 grams equal 680 calories, right? So that'll be 680 calories. So now we're gonna move on to our fats. We calculate how, many, how much fat we wanna take in. So I recommend anywhere between 20 to 35%. Um, I typically like 25 to 30%. Uh, I think 20% is too low and 35% may be too high for some individuals. But if you want to have more fat in your diet and you want to do a more of a lower carb diet, then go towards that 35%. If you want to do a lower fat diet, maybe more carbs than 20%. But I want to take out fat completely because it's all about total calorie. 20 to 35% of total calories, right? So my total calorie is 2150. I'm going to take 25% of that. So 2150, I'm going to multiply by 0.25, that's 25%. And then we're going to take this number and divide it by nine because each gram of fat is nine calories. So we divide it by nine and that's about 60 calories. So I'm always rounded up to the nearest uh, five for each of these uh, macronutrients. So 59.7, we'll go up to 60 grams of fat. So this will be 60 grams of fat that I'll be consuming. 60 grams of and that will equal to apply that by nine because we need this calorie intake goal calculate our carbs so 540 grams, 540 calories so 60 grams of fat let me highlight this so you can see all the macros in red that'll be your fat next thing you want to calculate very easy is the remaining calories so those remaining calories are going to go towards your carbs and whoops, that is not what we want. We want this. Okay. So remaining calories is 540 plus 680. And then we got to subtract it from that uh, total calorie intake that we're consuming, right? So take out 680 plus the 540. That's 1220. 540 plus 680 plus 1220. Then we want to subtract it from our 2150 because that's our total calorie intake, right? So remaining calories will be our carbs. So we have 2150 minus 1220, 930. And then we want to divide that by four because there's four calories per one gram of carbs, right? So divide that by four, get 232. And like I said, you want to round it towards uh, the nearest five, kind of make it easy on yourself because getting two and a half carbs at the end of the day is pretty damn difficult when you're trying to be exact with your macro. So give yourself a range, uh, 230 is fine. 230 grams of carb. Okay. So that's it. So that will be your carb breakdown, your fat breakdown and your protein breakdown. And once you multiply that, um, it'll probably be a little under 2150 because I did uh, round this number down by two and this number two. So it'll be around 2150 and you'll still be in that calorie deficit and you'll still see that progress as long as you stick to these numbers. Now, of course, your numbers may be different. Don't use these numbers. This is an example. I'm just showing you guys how to calculate these numbers for yourself. Okay, and then one thing I want to also add on is fiber. So you want to take in about 10 grams of fiber per thousand calories. So I'm taking in 2150. So I'll recommend anywhere between 
20 to 25 grams of fiber a day for my recommended calorie intake. And then for a bonus, just for information out there, uh, for you to have one gram of alcohol is equal to seven calories. Okay, so that's how you calculate your calorie deficit or calorie surplus, depending on what your goals are. That's how you calculate your protein, your fats, your carbs, and your fiber. All right, so that's how you calculate your calories and your macros. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And also subscribe down below if you want to see future fitness and tech videos. I also do tech videos if you're new here. I'm a personal trainer myself and I do like tech. As you can see, I do have like a setup here myself. So I do like to do tech reviews, tech unboxings. And in addition to that, I want to provide some fitness informational content on here as well. Comment down below of what other fitness questions or tech related stuff you like to see. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.